Hartford Game Day. I'm Hattie Brees. And I'm Callie Talby. It is family weekend here in Birmingham, Alabama, as the Bulldogs of Sanford take on the Bulldogs of the Citadel. And Callie, we've got a great matchup today. Lots of guys to watch, but one is Sanford quarterback Devlin Hodges. Now, Callie, I know we talked about him last week, but the quarterback is on the brink of breaking a lot of school records. He broke one last week at Western Carolina, throwing for 516 yards against the Catamounts. He's completed 685 passes in his career, just 19 completions away from the current record of 704 set by Ray Nelson from 2001 to 2004. He has also passed for 7,619 yards in his career, just 331 yards short of Nelson's current record of 7,950 yards. And Callie, you and I both know Hodges is not the only talented quarterback going into this game. Nope, not at all. For the Citadel, it's the senior quarterback, Dominique Allen, who takes the star of this offense. Allen is a great dynamic player. He was named the SoCon Offensive Player of the Week two weeks ago in the game against ETSU. The senior quarterback led three consecutive touchdown drives in the second half to rally from a 17-7 deficit and to give the Citadel its ninth consecutive SoCon regular season win. Allen also rushed for 52 yards and a touchdown. He also added 104 yards passing on four completions and a 2017-yard touchdown pass to Raleigh Webb. Allen steered his Bulldogs to 435 yards of offense and 331 yards on the ground. This is a very physical football team. They like to run that triple option, and Allen does a great job of spreading his players amongst the field, which is going to pose a great threat for that Sanford defense. Yeah, no joke, Callie. Sanford defense is going to have to play much more spread out today than they are used to. Their safeties can't play as in and out as they normally do, and they're going to have to be much more focused. Absolutely, and those first two downs of the game will be a great indicator for Sanford on how to line themselves in the rest of the game. Absolutely, I'm looking forward to it. You can join me, Kurt Bloom, and Chad Pilger on ESPN3 as we've got the game covered for you later today. And join Taylor, Blake, and I on FM 99.1 The Game starting at 1 o'clock for the region's countdown to kickoff. Catch you next week.